Hello, witches and magical kindreds. I'm Kim. This is my channel, The Way of the Witch. Join me on this beautiful NorCal day while I do a little wild crafting and create a simple flower essence. Here are a few considerations when wild crafting. One, don't take from a plant where there's only one plant in the area, like that one. Never pick anything from a national forest or protected area. Also, never pick anything that's endangered. Maybe consider where the plant is located. Is it away from, say, dogs relieving themselves on it? Is it in a pesticided area? These are things that I consider. And typically, you want to pick plants where you can take two, three, or four um, flowers and then move on. You don't want to wipe out half the crop. And also, only pick what you need. When I first started creating flower essences, I would gather a large amount of plant matter and end up making like a pint of flower essence that I never went through. I learned my lesson and in this I'm using, it's about a cup. And just to get a little witchy on you, choose a plant that you know, that you vibe with, a plant that you know is happy for you to take a bit of its essence. Let me tell you about the California poppy from Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. Correspondences are feminine, moon, water, hypnos, and Demeter, fertility, love, sleep, money, luck, invisibility. Cunningham says, poppy seeds and flowers are used in mixtures designed to aid sleep. They are also eaten or carried to promote fertility and to attract luck and money. At one time, poppy seed heads were gilded and worn as talismans to draw wealth. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the walk. Enjoy the gathering. And really take time to attune to your genus loci. My process for creating a flower essence is pretty simple and not overly complicated. I know that there are purists out there who are going to naysay and tisk tisk when they see my process, but honestly this works for me. My process has evolved over the years. I used to pick the leaf of the plant so that I could then pick the flower of the plant without getting the oils from my fingers on it. I would put it in a, you know, bowl of spring water that had been get, you know, whatever. Um, as it turns out, I ended up not doing all that stuff. And when I started to simplify my practice, my magical practice, is when it became something that I did every day. Thank you. 
So here's a few things that I have gathered. The Flower Essence Repertory. Um, I have, of course, the flowers that I gathered, the California Poppy. I do not have brandy. I use what I have, which is some Tito's vodka. I had some little jars. I will put the mother essence in this one. And these will be um, stock um, essence that I can just put into a cup of water, a few drops into a cup of water. I use unbleached coffee filters. Honestly, this is the easy. I had some of the um, the cotton, you know, that you can strain through, but it doesn't give me as good a strain. So I prefer to use a coffee filter. I just use my pour over uh, coffee filter. And this is the process. To take, add a few drops to your water bottle or some tea, make it into a room spray, enjoy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.